Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part uh, 35. And this segment for our first World Championship round of the Championship Series. We're going to use the Nissan R390. Let's go. Going to Indianapolis, and we're going to do the R3 class. And we're probably going to get our shit pushed in by race cars, but... I don't give a fuck. I'm going to drive the R390 anyways. So... Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, the R390 is cool. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Ultima fast thing at some point Q, probably. Ah, yawning. Because not sleeping is apparently overrated for me. All right, drink tea, starting grid. All race cars. I am the odd man out. Cool. Let's go. All right. Um, attempt three. <laughs> oh God. Let's fucking go. Please stop! Well, that went well. Hey, Rossi's in the fucking Reese Ferrari, I just realized. Instead of the Crone one. He finally wised up. Huh, 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 huh. Because I still have no idea what you mean. Like, I know what you mean by, like, the, you know, revised edition of the circuit, but no, you cannot get it in this game. Profile picture is very unflattering. Good. Me doing a shitty Mashoga face is not really supposed to, you know, be flattering. Can't really look good doing that. Oh my Jesus, tits. This isn't, this isn't fucking, you know, tender. I don't care if my icon is a very stupid picture of me. Okay, one lap down. Three to go. If I survive. Yeah, I'm not adding things to this car. I gotta drive it as is to make a statement. That statement is, I'm a stubborn idiot, asshole fucker. I think I can be Rossi, it's just a matter of, like, not overdriving the car. Which is a very easy thing to do. Apparently. I can't even go full throttle in, like, fifth gear. Holy shit, this car. I did not expect I was expecting this to be a lot more planted. Oh how wrong I was. Of course this damage isn't helping my uh oversteer situation either. Oh no, we're going off into the grass. And into the sticky grass. Couldn't really help you on capture card choice. I've heard good things about Aver Media. So I don't know. Elgato or Avermedia is probably 
good choices. Concentrating. So yeah, definitely not winning this first heat. But I can get him in the second heat, I hope. So, you know, I'll just do that. Gotta keep Taylor behind me and others. Yeah, this R390 is not stock. It has whatever fucking upgrades the game decided to put on it before it gave it to me. No, you don't, Taylor. Okay, well this was awful. Hopefully I can do better in the second heat and then, uh, you know, win. Because now I kind of have to. So... Oh boy. The adventure continues. And the R390. Okay, attempt to at heat two, because ah. I still can't drive this car. It's one wrong move, and it's just way off into the grass I go. I'm not doing a house tour. There's no reason for me to do a house tour. Like, the room tour is enough. You don't need to see the entire house. Anyways, how the fuck am I in second place? Look like a zombie. Not sure if compliment or... Then again, I'm not sure how... Being told you look like a zombie is a compliment. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Anyways, let's try to pass Rossi here. And then succeed in passing Rossi because this thing is just like vroom. Very fast in a straight line. Okay, 
And I just gotta keep the car on the track and we'll be fine. Much easier said than done. Let me tell ya. Oh, I missed the turn. I completely missed the turn. Fucking blind entry. Like, I was actually looking for the turn-in point, and then I just kind of drove past it. Overdrive. Vroom. Not sure what that uh, badge implies. Or the unlock criteria for it was. Yeah, words. Please make the turn, please make the turn. I made the turn. Okay, one more lap. Got this. I hope I got this. I should got. I should have this. I don't know. It's all about hitting my breaking points. Being easy on the throttle. Just don't go full throttle ever. That was the last, like, real questionable spot for me. Just didn't quite know the proper braking zone for that turn for this car. Let's keep it pointed in the right direction. Oh my god. Okay, well this was a holocaust and a half, but hey, I win. Somehow. Holy shit. Ugh. That was something, I tell you what. Alrighty, well then. Really, only 39 credits and repairs. Damn, that's cheap. Ooh, early GT1 cars. Wonder what my choices are gonna be. Probably a Selena 7 and company. Probably, I don't know. Let's find out. Yep. So let's see, we got, hey, the R390, short tail. Viper, McLaren F1, that's Selena 7, and Maserati MC12. I have to. Not only is it a Viper, it's number 91. I, I have to. 
I can't not get it. I know predictable, but pfft. And you're off once again to the dynamic twin ring Motegi circuit in Tochigi Prefecture, Japan. Okay, to Motegi we go for round seven, which we'll take care of in the next segment. So, with that, stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport 4, and hopefully a much more easy to control car, because holy fuck. <laughs>